Hi, my name is Kevin Ray. I'm Vice President and General Manager of Crownline Boats. And we're here today to talk about this year's design video. And the real core focus of today's video is what is at the essence of our next generation of product? What is it that we want to try and accomplish with this huge new product push that we're bringing to the marketplace? For 2019, Crownline launched 10 all new boats to the marketplace. And I still get a smile on my face when I talk about 10 new boats. We had been one of the industry leaders consistently every single year by bringing four new boats to the marketplace. So for 2019 to come with 10, it just is a huge indication that no one in our peer group is even close to the commitment to new product. Crownline is by far the new product leader. Let's talk about what is this next generation of Crownline product. First of all, how do you know if you have an, a Gen 2 product? Here's what I'd point out. Any one of our hull designs, any one of our boat designs that has a hull accent indicates it's a next generation of product. It means it's got a minimum of four radiuses designed into the deck above the rub rail. It's got a minimum of six radiuses designed below the rub rail. Those radiuses are all designed to add strength, reduce noise and vibration, and help eliminate gel coat cracking. Every one of our next generation of products comes on a performance fast tab hull. So it's the second generation of our hull designs after years and years of performance testing. Now what did we do there in the performance fast tab hull? We took our ventilation angles, we changed them roughly two degrees, and in every specific boat we modified it by extending the lifting strakes. On our E205XS and our E215XS we extend the lifting strakes down the center of the boat. On all of our other boats, 23 and up, we extended the lifting strakes on the outer uh, sections of the hull. In either case, we modified that to go in conjunction with the changes with the fast tab. The combined effects of these design changes was a one and a half to two mile an hour increase in performance and a quicker time to plane. These are huge home runs. One important additional point is that in our next generation of product, we have one proven design, but we build two boats off of that platform, meaning you have your choice of either a stern drive or an outboard. So every one of our new boats comes with the opportunity to be for a freshwater environment or a saltwater environment. Now let's talk about that last topic, the one that I think is most important, why weight matters. And I keep coming back to this because you know what? It's where all the money is. It's where all the value is. It's where all the most important parts of the ownership experience are for the use of the boat, uh, stays newer longer, and then the resale value. I recently got a call from one of our dealers and he was frustrated and upset that no matter how much information we had in the marketplace, some customers still didn't understand how much bigger, deeper, and, and better built our boats are than our competitors. Now here's a picture of our 294 cruiser, and this is a picture of one of our competitors, 295 cruisers. So just by the names, you certainly know which, wouldn't know which boat is bigger. And if you looked at the LOA, you might not know which boat is bigger. But when you look at graphically, when you have the opportunity where a crown line is right next to the competition, you can see how much bigger, how much deeper, how much wider our boats are. But the easiest way that that stands out is when you look at the published weight. Our boat is 10,500, their boat is 8,200 pounds. That's why I talk to you again about why weight matters and it's the number one place you should start your fact-finding mission about a new boat. Now, we've talked about some other things. We talked about the fact that Crownline builds boats without ever cutting corners. We design boats that people want to own, not that are easy to manufacture. Big differences between us and the competition. But now I want to really drive that home where, where I call this is where it's, if you looked under the covers, if you could take apart your deck and haul, what would you see if you looked at a crown line and a competitor's boat. So please, bear with me. Bring along some gel coat panels. Now, we took some cutouts of one of our, our crown line boats. And again, it designs in, shows the value of the radiuses, how much stronger the radiuses provide the strength to the boat. And I also want to show you the back side that shows that in our, our hull sides, we glass in core mat for reinforcement. But let's take a look at the thickness. Our first skin is 100 mils, our second skin is rolled to perfection at 100 mils, and the core mat is, is, is an addition to that. This is the thickness of a crown line hull side. Now we have purchased our competitors' boats over the years. We have studied their build processes. We have watched what they do, and we do that to make sure that we're not missing anything. 
that there's some technology leap that somehow somebody could have leapfrogged our design philosophies. What we found is completely the opposite. What we found is that how our competitors are taking their weight out of their boat is by exactly what I've said in the past. They thin their laminate. They shoot 60 to 80 mils the first skin. They shoot 60 to 80 mils if you're lucky on the second skin. And there's no core matting on the interior of the hulls. This shows up when you look at the weights of our boats. Why our boats are 1,000 pounds, 800 pounds, 2,000 pounds heavier than the competition for a like size model. It comes down to this. Built to last, built right without ever cutting corners, built to be production friendly and cut costs. That's the big difference between our philosophy on product and our competitors. And here's the last piece of the pie that I want you to consider when you're, when you're in the process of making a boat buying decision. We're doing all these things, and yet the, performances, the performance characteristics of our boat exceed our competitors. Our boats get on plane sooner. They get on a plane with less bow rise. They maintain plane at a lower RPM, and their top speed is as good, if not better, than all of our competition. So you're not giving up any performance when you're picking up all these benefits of boats built properly the first time around. I can't drive these, uh, these messages home any clearer than I just did. We love the opportunity to have our crown line boats right next to the competition at boat shows, on dealership uh, sales floors. We love that opportunity to be right next to them so you can touch, feel, and compare our boats against theirs. If you do nothing else, start with the weight of your boat you're looking at. Weight matters. It's what you cannot fudge. Our boats are not overbuilt. They're built to last, and we do so without ever cutting corners. And oh, by the way, if you ride our, a crown line, we'll outperform the competition bar none. Thanks for your time and interest in crown line boats. See you at the boat shows. Hi, my name is Kevin Ree. I'm the Vice President and General Manager at Crown Line Boats. And I'd just like to take a few minutes to talk about our marketing approach. In some of our videos that we've, we've done lately, we've talked about our commitment to delivering highly sophisticated sports car styling to the marketplace. We've talked about our commitment to never cutting any corners when we, during the build process. We've also talked about backing all of our products with the best, most comprehensive warranty in the industry. But one of the things that we talk about consistently is we believe we deliver the best overall value relationship to the marketplace. That's the one I want to talk about a little bit more. What's the best overall value relationship mean? What does it mean to you, the retail consumer? And how do you judge that? Well, three or four years ago, we embarked on what we called performance-tuned packages. And that's where we take the most highly sought after engine in each one of our models, the longest list of standard features, and package them together to put forth the best value to the marketplace. When we take content that was once optional and then make it standard, and build it into every one of those boats. We're able to take some cost out, and then by doing that, we pass that savings on to the consumer. When we sell a particular model, 70% of the time with a certain option, we then make that option standard the following model year. That's how we've come together with the longest list of standard features in the industry. Now, for example, bowing cockpit canvas, snap-in carpet, dual battery switches. Those kinds of items are always routinely charged extra with our competitors. They're standard in a vast majority of our models. All of our models 22 and up come with stainless steel windshield headers, wet sound speakers, six, some of them with eight. These are the kinds of items that continue to be built into the product for the longest list of standard features in the industry. Now, what do some of our competitors do? Their approach is to strip out content out of their product. Their approach is to come to the marketplace with a very, very aggressive low price. Now what they don't tell you in that is that that may not be the biggest engine, it may be, not be even the proper horsepower for that particular model. They won't tell you that they stripped out the bow and cockpit canvas. They won't tell you they stripped out the snap-in carpet. They won't tell you you won't get a stainless steel windshield header. They won't tell you you're, not, you're gonna get wet, not get wet sound speakers. You're not gonna get a battery charger, a cockpit table. You're not gonna get all those items standard. So you're left to do your own detective work. Our customers consistently tell us what they love about the purchase decision is they know that the boat is very well equipped. It has all the options they want standard. That's a big difference. There's dangers on focusing on just price. 
you got to compare the engines, you got to compare the content, you got to compare the LOA, the beam, and the weights on the boat. A lot of our boats come packaged with trailers, a high quality heritage single or tandem axle trailers. Theirs may not. There's lots of variables. Only thing I'm asking you to do is don't get caught up in one low price. There's a lot of dangers to that. Make sure you're comparing apples to apples when you're making a big investment decision about buying a boat. Crownline will rise to the top as the best overall value in the marketplace because of the quality of the product we deliver, the longest list of standard features in the industry, backed by one of the best warranties, built one at a time, never cutting corners. Thanks for your interest in Crownline. We started experimenting with the Fast Tab Hull last year when we delivered the E21 and the E29 to the marketplace. These were our first entries into our performance Fast Tab Hull bottoms. And what I mean by that is we extended the outer lifting strikes of those bottoms all the way back to the transom. That provided additional lift, additional acceleration uh, through the throttle curve and really brought the boats up on plane faster with less bow rise. So that was the first step in the technology. Now we've continued to refine that process. On our three new stern drive boats that we're introducing for 2018, the E23, E25, and this exciting new E27, we also modified the delta pad slightly. Now the delta pad is the angle or the triangle of the running surface in which the boat runs on when it's up on plane. So what we did is we moved those delta pads back slightly. On the 23 and the 25, we moved them back six inches. On the E27, we moved it back eight inches. So what we did then is extend the lifting strikes all the way across the bottom by those same amounts. At the same time, we then took our fast tab hulls and the ventilation into that delta pad and we changed the angle slightly. Before, if we ventilated the hull this way, now we've ventilated it this way. That's really been the magic elixir on how we've come up with these brand new performance fast tab hull bottoms and why our boats are bigger, heavier, and loaded with standard features and delivering better performance, better acceleration with less bow rise. It's all about the science and we've been working hard day in, day out to refine our bottoms, and we are now excited to bring to the market what we are going to call performance fast tab haul bottoms. So again, we look forward for the chance to earn your business at the upcoming boat shows, and please don't hesitate to contact Crownline if you have any questions about these exciting new boats.
Hi, my name is Kevin Ray. I'm Vice President and General Manager of Crownline Boats. And we're here today to do a quick product walk around on our brand new E205XS. Now this particular boat we're extremely excited about this new entry into the market and we think we're going to do extremely well. Why? Because this boat has the look, feel, comfort and appointments of a pontoon boat with the performance of a fiberglass hull bottom. Now this particular boat is one of our next generation of products, our Gen 2 products. It comes uh, based off of a performance fast tab hull bottom and it's loaded with standard features. So just by the way of specs, 20 feet 4 inch LOA. It's got an 8.6 beam that's carried very far forward so it maximizes the size and scope of the forward bow seating. 19 degree transom angle and a 39 degree angle of entry. The maximum weight of this boat is 3725 pounds and it comes packaged with up to a 200 horsepower outboard. So we're extremely excited about the overall performance, design, form and function of this particular new boat. As you move to the back of the boat, one of the things you'll notice is a full length wraparound swim platform and it's got the soft touch non-slip mat. You also have a four step telescoping stainless steel boarding ladder and like all the crown lines, it's got a designed in grab handle so it makes entering and exiting the boat very easy. Also it's step up, you got a secondary grab handle here located and pull up cleats. Everything is uh, neatly designed out of the way to eliminate the chance uh, to trip or, or create a trip hazard when you either enter or exit the boat. Lots of features designed into the back of this boat for comfort and convenience and now I look forward to taking you through the bow of the boat all the way to the stern. Sitting in the bow of the 205XS, a couple things I'd like to point out. First, on the forward portion of the bow is another non-stick soft touch mat and a secondary four-step boarding ladder. So again, you can enter and exit the front of the boat just as easy as you can the back of the boat. Moving forward on the driver's side, you have an oversized 16 degree lean back with a pillow top, headrest, and uh, self-articulating armrest, which really makes it a comfortable location to, to lay out and enjoy the day. The other thing I'd like to point out is this oversized cushion has the hands-free hinges, which is, allows you to open it up and load items in and out of the uh, storage area easily and never have to tie up the use of your hands to hold the cushions. The other thing I'd point out is in the forward portion of the bow, you have an insulated cooler. So if you're sitting up here, plan to enjoy the day, uh, you can fill it with cans or bottles, fill it with ice. It's self-draining and insulated, so it's a great little designed-in cooler for the forward portion of the bow. We also have another non-slip mat here, so again, if you're entering the boat from the front, you step down in another surface, which is non-slip. Going to the passenger side, one of the things you'll notice is a fully upholstered bow, full-length bow rails to hold on to, but both of these hinges both of these cushions, I mean, are also on the hands-free hinges. So again, quick and easy access to all the oversized storage in the bow of the boat. And then when they're not in use, they snap back in place and they're good to go for the day. Now, let's move into the cockpit. A couple of design features I'd like to point out. One is this particular area is what we're most proud of, the use of space that we've come up with our design. And that is the back-to-back -back lounge chairs. Again, both have the 16-degree recline angle and this allows people to sit forward and aft and talk and communicate. Both are designed in with the oversized pillow top headrests. Again, armrests abound for every side of the boat. A couple of things I'd like to point out though again in the design. Both of these cushions also hands-free. So it allows complete access to storage space. This is where you're going to bring your carry-on cooler. It's got the chalks that set it down in place but large areas for oversized storage. This particular cushion has a carve-out and it's designed that if you order the optional porta potty. The porta potty is stationed here underneath this cushion. And then there's a privacy curtain that drops down from the bimini top so it can be used for privacy as a bathroom, also as a changing area. It's a really well thought out design. A couple other things I'd like to point out as we move to the back of the boat, and that's the large storage area under this rear seat. This is a huge insulated integrated tub. You can fill it with uh, ice and drinks. Uh, picnic baskets, anything, any items you want to carry on board to enjoy the, the day by water. But it's quick and easy access in and out of the boat and again it's hands free. One other thing I'd like to point out is this access on the rear backrest to this seat. It's a manual release, pops up on a full piano hinge and it gives you uh, accessibility to all of your uh, storage, excuse me, mechanical areas for service. But the other quick and easy thing is for the boater is access to the standard dual battery switch. Let's spend a few minutes talking about the E205XS helm station. First of all, I'd like to point out it comes standard with a windscreen. Second, it comes standard with a vinyl wrapped hand stitched brow that provides the shade, uh, eliminates the glare on your stainless steel 5 inch gauges. 
The boat also comes standard with a stainless center black diamond steering wheel, which is standard on all of our product, 20 feet and above for the 2019 model year. Other thing I'd like to point out is when in use, every one of your toggle switches lights up and illuminates when it's in the on position. Also, the Kicker Premium Stereo is easily in touch. Uh, your shifter panel is located here. Also comes with the optional landing where you can add a GPS, uh, Ray Marine A67 or uh, GPS unit after the fact if you chose to do it at a later date. And the driver bucket also has a suspension seat base which absorbs the, the shock and the pounding in rough water. Also comes standard with a flip up bolster. The other thing that is uh, exciting about the bucket seat is that it swivels 360 and also slides forward and aft. So it allows us for changes in position so it's easy to talk to anybody in the cockpit area. And one of the last uh, exciting features of this new boat I want to talk about is the large oversized in-floor storage. So again, if you're bringing on water toys, wakeboards, surfboards, whatever you're going to bring on board with you, there's plenty of room uh, and easy access to the center floor storage. And the other thing I wanted to point out is one of the design features that makes Crown Line so special, and that's the undermount cockpit storage drawer. So when your cockpit table is not in use, there's a neat uh, area to set it up, put it away easily, so you can snap it out of the way and full, still have full access to the storage area. Now let's spend some time talking about the E205 XS Fish, and I want to take you through what makes this fish package so exciting. First of all, in the forward portion of the bow, we have two threaded casting platforms, so you can move the chair from either side to side if you want to fish one side or the other. Also with the package comes the trolling motor bracket. It's a powder coated stainless bracket. Now, one of the things I want to point out on this stand is that this stand is actually designed with a setback. So when it's in this position, you increase the leg room that you have for the person fishing in the forward portion of the boat. Seems like a small detail, but it's huge when it comes to where your knee and leg room are when you're trying to control your trolling motor. So we designed this in with serious fishermen in mind. Also, if you take a look here is your, your trolling motor bracket and, uh, and panel, your plug-ins, your controls, and also it's illuminated. This feeds right to the forward bait box. Now the important part of the bait box is that it's LED lit, so if you're fishing at night you never have to really fumble around for your bait. And it also comes with a built-in splash guard besides being fully aerated. Really nice feature. <laughs> Moving to the back, a couple of the questions I often get is where are the batteries located for your trolling motor? Now the trolling motor would come with two batteries and it would be located right here under this cutout. That's why you have the ventilation here for your trolling motor brackets. Both of the batteries are located behind these lean backs. Uh, the battery trays are set there and the wiring is set so that your battery charger is located right here. So after you've been all day on the water and you're looking to plug in and charge your trolling motor batteries, you just plug it in right here and off you go. A couple other key features with this package. When you move over to the helm, the package comes with the Raymarine A67 with the Chirp transducer. So what this is, is a high definition sonar and a transducer that really picks up the bottom. And that's important to serious fishermen because you're able to see the structure and you're also able to see your fish. So our floor storage has been redesigned that you can store up to six rods, seven and a half feet or shorter in length. So seven, seven and a half foot rods easily accommodated uh, in this storage area. Also the other important thing that people like to do their own service uh, all your plumbing for both your live well and your bait box is located right here for e easy serviceability and water shutoff. So again, all of this is located right here. One thing I would point out, when you go to the fish package and we set this area up for rod storage, you do give up the standard undermount cockpit storage drawer for your table, but the trade-off for the fisherman is well worth it because this is where you want to keep your most important rods. That's also why this lid is lockable. So if you leave the boat and exit the boat, you can lock your storage uh, in here and your rods. Moving along, let's talk about the oversized live well and some of the features that you have in the back of the boat. So this is roughly a 70 uh, quart live well. It's also LED lit, comes with the built-in splash guard. So again, if you're on rough water, nothing splashing into the cockpit of the boat. A couple of uh, exciting things here. One is the aerator for the live well as well. But this is a secondary pump and it has two features. Out, which allows you to recycle the water and push it in and it pumps it out. So this is not only an aerator, but you can recycle the freshness of the water in the live well. Big deal if you want to keep your fish alive all day, or if you're not sure if you want to release them at the end of the day, big features that help keep the fish alive and fresh all day long. In and out, recycle, pump out, as well as aeration, LED lit. A Couple other features we'll show you on the uh, fish package. It comes with four rod holders. So two on the gunnels, and then also two on the inside mounts of the back of the boat. 
So four rod holders total for external use if you're serious trollers or you just want to store them uh, when you're going from spot to spot, four locations. And I also want to talk about the rear casting platform. Now this rear seat comes with the same two mounts, port and starboard. It comes with a telescoping uh, seat base, which allows the seat to be adjusted up or down, high or low, so that per the person fishing on the back of the boat can fish around or over the outboard. This is a great boat for uh, per people that want to spend all day on the water or the serious fishermen. The built-in live well, bait boxes, recycled pumps, aerators, LED lit, rod holder storage, battery charger, Raymarine A67 with the chirp transducer. I'm telling you, for the serious fishermen, this is the package for you. I hope you enjoyed this brief uh, product walk around in the new E205XS. But as I mentioned in the very intro of this uh, video, if you're looking for a boat that has the look, the feel, the comfort, and the appointments of a pontoon boat, but the performance of a fiberglass boat bottom, and one that can come with a fish package, the new E205 is the boat for you. We look forward to the chance to earn your business and look forward to seeing you at the upcoming boat shows. Thank you.